Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about using function. Okay, let's proceed. So we created already the Lecture 6 folder, and this is also the name, and this is also the solution name. Now we can go to the Source Files folder, then right click and point to add then click new item and then we have here under visual c++ you can click uh, cpp or c++ file dot cpp and we have the name of the file as source dot cpp we're going to rename this with uh, sandata underscore compro2 underscore lecture 6 then we're going to click add button below and then it was been created right here we can resize the magnification into 200 percent and then we do the code so the first thing is the head The second is the neck. And the body. Now uh, we're going to type using STD CL using STD CL using STD and line to discuss this um, the word using is a function that inform the compiler that they're going to use C out only rather than the std uh, c out that is the idea okay so we're going to use only c out rather than this multiple uh, function right here so that is the purpose of using this and it is also considered the std uh, colon c out std colon c in and std colon end line they're also in the function namespace okay so if we're going to type uh, using namespace so they are similar they are similar to what we have right here at the top okay so again this one is similar or also like this one but I'm discussing how this uh, the namespace evolved because before we are using only using then due to algorithm there are plenty of uh, text here sign and symbol so they shorten it so they have the algorithm of using namespace std okay? that is the idea so if you're going to use this so do not use this okay otherwise they are complicated to each other if you are using this then no need to use this part okay so imagine we have here three lines and this is one line so this is the last algorithm in c++ by identifying the coding body in program okay so but right now due to lecture we are using this so that you can already know how does this evolve Okay, so we're going to remove this then let's continue so we have here uh, C out Mabuhay. Um, uh, programmers
Okay, we're already finished with the coding and uh, hoping that uh, it is considered to be no error at all. So we, we need to click debug and start without debugging. Okay, we have here the output. So, mabuhay ang mga programmers. Input first number, 1. Input second number, 2. You inputted 1 and 2. So, if you want to have a space in 1 and 2, so what you need to do is to put a space only right here at our delimiter. Okay? Then, afterwards, you can check it out also that... Uh, we have a space here in the input to remove that so you need to use only delete or backspace and then close then run it again start without debugging okay mabuhay ang mga programmers input first number almost perfect then it should be input second number two and you inputted one and two so perfect that's all for today. Thank you and good luck.